in uh, the Destiny of Civilization, there is a chart of the growth of compound interest uh, and the growth of the actual economy that's in an S-curve. And while the economy is growing in an S-curve, interest grows exponentially, much more rapidly. And the result is uh, that the economy becomes more and more debt-ridden and polarized between creditors. Here's how the de my debate with Herman Kahn began. Uh, Herman Kahn wrote a wonderful book, Thinking the Unthinkable, about atomic war. He was a military genius. And uh, he was the, the model for Dr. Strangelove in the movie. And he'd said that uh, there will be an atomic war and uh, people, there will be survivors. He, he said he didn't want to be a survivor. He said, the world is not the kind of world I want to live in. I want to be right under the hydrogen bomb, but there, uh, there is going to be a war and there will be survivors. Well, that made uh, many people thought, oh, you shouldn't think the unthinkable. This is an awful thought. You shouldn't write about atomic war. You must be advocating it just like Peter Sellers did in the movie, uh, uh, talking about uh, atomic war. Herman wanted to be loved. Uh, and uh, he, he uh, in addition to being a military uh, uh, theorist, he wanted to talk about the economy. Uh, but he wasn't an economist, so he hired me to be uh, the number two man at the Institute talking about economics. And he kept saying, there is a malaise in America. This was during President Nixon's uh, presidency. Uh, there was a malaise, he said, and people are feeling bad, and they think uh, there's uh, people are getting poorer and poorer, and they're strained. But let's look at how productivity is growing. Uh, he, asked, he asked me to take my Hewlett Packard uh, uh, calculator and say, if we if the world only grows at two point five percent a year, look at how quickly it doubles. Any rate of GDP growth is a doubling time. And of course, that's what the economic profession did. It would project GDP as if a national income and product grows automatically. Uh, and I said, I, I can't do it. I said, uh, that is not how economies grow. Every GDP and national income tapers off. And it tapers off because the debt grows faster, and as uh, the economy, uh, the corporations and individuals, uh, uh, consumers have to pay uh, higher debts for their housing, for their uh, uh, for their financing, they have less and less to spend on goods and services, and the economy shrinks. This was known already in Babylonia back in the uh, 1800 BC, uh, and so uh, I, I I said, you know, you you've really got to not only look at the technological potential, but you have to look at why the financial overgrowth of debt and finance prevents this technological uh, potential from being realized. Well, uh, uh, the people who funded the Hudson Institute, mainly the military industrial complex and also the oil companies, uh, shell oil companies, uh, these were, uh, were very good clients. I mean, they, we had wonderful discussions with our corporate clients, but they, uh, they didn't want to uh, believe that oil was going to slow down uh, the growth of uh, national income and GDP. Uh, and so I decided to uh, uh, leave the uh, Hudson Institute and uh, basically work uh, uh, for Canadian financial firms and uh, convince uh, uh, other governments that the problem uh, that the world was facing uh, wasn't simply uh, technology, wasn't uh, uh, only military, but was financial. And I ended up working for the United Nations uh, and other, uh, uh, other groups. Our conflict uh, is that economists look as if, such as Herman Kahn was, and uh, Milton Friedman uh, who, as you know, uh, inspired the Shanghai group so much in China, Milton Friedman wanted to invite Herman to become a professor at the University of Chicago, promoting this idea because uh, economists look at economies as run on barter. Uh, economic models don't have money. They don't have debt. They say debt doesn't matter. Uh, and uh, uh, for me, I say, well, I'd, I'd rather follow debt and say the economy doesn't matter uh, to a financier. The financier only cares about making financial gains, irrespective of whether this destroys the economy, as you're seeing under uh, 
corporate rating and uh, uh, the corporate, uh, the financialization of the economies uh, today. So uh, our, our uh, difference was, and what do you emphasize? Do you look at technology or you look at finance? Uh, Herman said technology is the promise of growth and world peace. I said uh, finance is uh, the root of uh, domination and war. Thank you.